Yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna explain how you can easily scrap with this strategy on the commodity of a boom and crash. This is what we do. Firstly, I'm gonna give us the setup for this strategy. The before I explain how it works, okay? Um, on my main chart, which is this when yeah, this is where I wanna explain now. I have just two moving average there. The first moving average there is a uh, period 24. The shift is um, 7. Method is exponential applied to low. Star is a uh, 2 pixel. The color is purple. And uh, you click on done. And the second moving average is period 150. Shift is 0. Method is exponential applied to close. Star is 2 pixel. The color is red. When you're done, you click on done. Okay. So I just apply this to moving average on my main chart. All right. So I'm moving to this range here. In this box here, I have three different indicators there. All right, the first indicator is the, the relative strength index. The period is one applied to close. Star is three pixel. And the levels are level 10 and 90. And you go back and click on down like this. And the second moving average on this spot here is the envelopes the envelope parameters are period 20 shift is zero deviation is 10.900 method is simple apply to close the upper band and the lower band are three pixel each and the colors are purple we just click on this one here and the last indicator is bollinger band the bollinger band Parameters are period 4. Division is 0 0.100. Shift is 0. Apply to close. The star is a 4 pixel. The color is purple. And the levels are. I need you to focus on these levels. Okay. Because uh, it's kind of complicated. If you are not getting it, uh, you may want to take the screenshot of it. Alright. The first level is a minus 1, minus 2 minus four minus six zero one two four six and eight so when you're done with the levels you click on done like this so if you have done a lot of mentioned so far your main chart and your indicator window one chart should look exactly like this okay so in this very video i'm not going Call the video too long okay i just want to explain how you can scrap in this strategy i know i told you in my previous video that you should stay tuned for the next video so i can completely give you the setup for the strategy or you check on the previous video uploaded before that other one uh, okay so this is what we do now this is just a scrapping for catching a spike so this is just i just do i just want to make sure uh, i catch they spice so this is what i do so when i check on my air time frame i confirm the trend like the five minutes time frame you know like i said this is below the trend which confirms a norm trend like this so i may just go on my so i may just go on my one minute time frame this is all i want to do i want to focus on this window indicator one so when I focus on this window indicator, I want to make sure this line hits this 10 level and this purple line at the same time so I can take my buying entry. Okay, so by the way, I took my buying entry from this spot. Okay, okay, uh, because I want to catch the spikes. Okay, sometimes I do wait for the market to spike like uh, two or three different spikes okay, before I can, you know, take my entry point. But if i waited for at least these two spikes okay definitely i'm not gonna catch this spike okay so my entry point is gonna be at the top of this spike which means i'm likely to lose at least some money i'm not gonna get a proper entry so at this smart trader so that is why i you know i took my entry point from this place okay let me just use aggressive trader so as an aggressive trader i took my entry point from this place okay so if you want to be a patient trader 
you can wait for at least two spikes okay which is going to confirm that this market is likely to pull out more spikes so you're going to take your entry point from this place and you're going to catch these spikes one and uh, two so that is the way it is okay so i'm just going to do a quick recap now i said firstly you have to go on your higher time frame like the 15 minutes time frame or the five minutes time frame to confirm the trend you did using the indicators when you confirm the trend using the indicators so you go on your one minute time frame okay just to target this window indicator um, you have to make sure this green indicator line which is this bullet japan eight days ten level so you can take your sniper entry or you take your patient entry okay uh you may want to ask why i'm still holding on on this trade i'm simply holding on this trade up because i'm still expecting more spikes to come okay this is all i just do uh either just you know lock in the profit at least go close some position for the trade okay and leave some positions okay so either i set my stop loss at the be okay uh, or i set a tight or i set a very tight stop loss okay so should in case the market comes back okay i already lock in the profit i believe you get my point so that is how you manage your profit and manage your trade as a professional trader you can always hit me up for more strategy or for any inquiries concerning my strategy okay if you really enjoy this video and you think this strategy is going to work for you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell share this video and do not forget to like this video until next time I'll really wish you